we're out running our errands now. We're at uh, CVS. We have one more place to go after this. Uh, we are being extremely careful with germs. Usually we don't care quite as much about germs, but Janelle is pregnant and there is a lot of flu going around this area. We brought our bottle of hand sanitizer with us. We don't usually like using hand sanitizer because it not only kills the bad stuff, it also kills the good stuff. But it, there is a place for it and it's places when there's a lot of flu going around. She's back from the drugstore. Not a good place to be no. during flu season. Well, it's more like the pen. I was I wasn't gonna touch anything, and then you have to sign. And I tried to sign without my with my gloves, and it's heat sensitive, so it wouldn't sign without me taking my gloves off. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. We're at the pet food place. We're looking for some bird seed to feed the birds, and also some chicken. Uh, what do you call that? It's just corn, cracked corn. Cracked corn for the chickens. Yes. They like to give them that in the winter. It's the cracked corn, we found it. And then we gotta get some black oil sunflower seeds there. Chickens will be happy. Yes, they will be. So will the wild birds. Alright, return the cart. <laughs> It's snowing right now, and the snowflakes are very interesting. A very pretty huge snowflake right there, but there are a whole bunch of straight snowflakes. Like, like that one right there, it's just a straight line. Very interesting. Kids are playing football. They just got a big pile of clothing from a cousin, and yeah, they decided they're going to wear some stuff. Oh, there's Peter. He doesn't want to be seen in a Superman outfit. It's cute, Peter. We got this uh, chair five years ago, and it's held up very well. But the only thing is, when you sit in it and rock... Oh, that's a horrible sound. Yeah, the mechanism hits on the other part of the mechanism. And it's, well, we got a baby on the way, and this chair will be used a lot. So we want to make sure that it doesn't do that. So I'm going to fix it. And we got to do it before the baby comes, of course. There's a lot to be done before the baby comes. Right, Janelle? You have no idea. But wasn't it, was it Peter or Lydia? I think it was Peter. We came home from the hospital and I had totally forgotten to get a bassinet down for him. He had no sheets, no blankets. I don't know where my brain was, but I had nothing for him. I remember walking home, and I was sitting in that rocking chair, and I said to Art, uh, where's Peter going to sleep tonight? We forgot the bassinet. And so Art, it was it was late at night. I want to say it was like 9 at night, 9, 10. Art had to go up on the third floor, get the bassinet out, and then try to find stuff that was clean. This is proving to be a little more involved than I thought. I thought it was just going to be this mechanism right here, but it turns out it's the whole, um, uh, the rungs right there squeaking as you rock back and forth, uh, along with the mechanism. So maybe these chairs are only made for five kids and not six. It's time to pull out the big guns. And we have a little girl who's trying to help. Doing a good job, Mary? What do you see, Mary? Oh, the channel axe. Those are a good tool. Screwdriver. I finally got it apart. The problem is that these are wobbly and all the rungs came loose, so I'm gonna take it apart. And uh, they were put in with some a couple staples. I'm gonna pull those staples out. I'm gonna put some wood screws in, glue it all together really good, and it should be good when I get done. It should hold up for another five kids. That's my chair. That's the base over there. Mm. 
those are the sides. There's the pile of tools. And then pulling it apart. And, well, there's the bed. And yes, it looks like a mess. And it is a mess because that's pretty much my workstation since I have a bed rest. So, Art, you think you're going to get this done in time? I need to, so I will. That's how it works around here. Isn't that scary? I tell you, I hope he knows what he's doing because if I don't have this rocking chair, <laughs> we might just have to go out and buy a new one. That's... Ow! No! Turn even more now. Ow! Oh, oh, don't look. Just don't look. Don't look. Don't look. It's been glued and clamped. I put eight screws in to hold the rungs in. Now you just have to put everything back together. And when it's all done, you can just put the platform right back on. The chair is all done, other than I have way too many tools all over the place. But I'll pick those up later. Now I'm going to test it. Let's see what happens. Do you hear any noises? Hey! Wow. That's nice and quiet. Wow. And I rock violently, too. You break it. Uh, I like this. My 150 pounds, uh, 155 pounds, I did put on a few pounds last few days because of the holidays. Uh, anyway, holds them up just fine. I like it.